hello guys welcome back to triple nine learning dot com so today in this session we are going to discuss how to download and install putty and how can we access a vm using putty basically why we need putty Put all the servers are remotely in data center and we are accessing all the server always in real time using putty so here uh, for our lab practice also we are going to access all the server using putty so let me show you how to download and install putty first open your favorite browser and uh, search for download putty and you will get this link first one www.putty.org then click on this one then you can read this and directly you can start for your download you can download putty click here then here you will get the putty and uh, this is the msi package uh, you can install this one and below is the binary available you can directly use this binary also without installing but we are going to use this msi installer as my operating system is 64 bit i am downloading the 64 bit msi installer it's already downloaded you can see so let's go uh, so putty is here so i am just doing right click on this to install next let it be on this path next then install yes i don't want to read this readme file so finish now putty will be installed definitely so let's go to the c drive program file yeah you can see putty is here i have to create a shortcut of this one so send to desktop create shortcut yes my putty sub shortcut is created in on my desktop so i have if i am doing double click on this so i am getting the putty window now so for now i am just minimizing putty here closing so in previous video we saw how to install already a vm as per our required ip so this is that vm i am just logging into this vm now i am cross verifying the ip of this vm ipa is showing here this is the ip of my vm 192.168.228.150 so i selected this 192.168.228 series because it was provided by vmware at the time of installation so let me show you why it was provided by vmware at the time of installation so click on setting then you can see the network adapter is showing nat here nat nat used to share the host ip address okay so i am not going to do any modification here just doing cancel here then you can go to here edit now you can see virtual network editor just opening virtual network editor vmnet 8 is connected with nat here showing and enable and the ip subnet address is showing 192.168.228.0 so that's the reason i took that series that time so we are not going to do any modification here closing this one so now my next target is that to see from uh, this ip address ending with 150 is reachable from my desktop or not okay desktop means my from my base operating system open your windows cmd run the command ping is the command to check your target server is available over network or not so here my target server ip is 192.168.228.150 you can see it is uh, showing here below packet sent 4 and received 4 lost 0 so 0% packet loss means uh, from my base operating system to the target Red Hat 8 uh, Linux server is accessible. So I am closing command from here. One more point I want to highlight here. So whatever the IP I was showing as of now 192.168.228.x. Uh, so that may be very in your case. So you have to check what is the IP is showing NAT for you. So at the time of installation, you have to provide that IP and uh, for to access your server also, you need to use that IP. I have opened my putty window here. So and I have provided the IP. So here the port is showing 22 and uh, it was selected SSH also. So I have to just click on open 
uh, to get that window so before that i just want to save this ip as my server name r h e l i p e n 8 custom so i did save up this one so i am closing it so you can see if i open it once again i can see that yeah so now no need to always remember the ip so it is already saved here if i am clicking on load then you can see it will show the ip and if i am clicking on open the window is open you can see i just maximize the window so i am just providing the username root now i have to provide the password for the root user id so i logged in now if i am running the command unim it is showing it's a linux server if i am running the command host name it is showing me the server name is as triple nine learning if i am running the command ip a it is showing the ip of the server in this ip we access this server so now our server is accessible over network from our base OS to the Red Hat Linux 8 a newly installed server. So clear is the command, clear the screen. Thanks for watching this video.